This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, it's another fabulous day in author land, in book land, and it's what's fabulous about writing and publishing is that is kind of like as the author turns, as the book turns, as the publishing world turns, is that there's always new nuggets new variations, new twist on old things. And my guest today has actually been a frequent guest. And because there is so much evolution, maybe we should say revolution, going on in the audiobook business, that it's really important to bring Richard back one more time <laughs> to to really talk about that what's going on and and where we're going. Richard Reeman is the author of the uh, the author's guide to audiobook and, and, and creating an audiobook and that it's it's just so full of nuggets and tidbits that it's important to understand that if you are not creating an audiobook, you are making a huge mistake. And now there's ways to make it for a lot of money. And there's ways to make it for minimal money. We're going to cover those items in today's show. But I think the important thing is to understand what's new, what's hot out there. So, Richard, why don't we kick this off? Welcome you back. Nice to have you. Thank you, Judith. Always great to be with you. All right. So let's just really start off with what is new um, in audiobooks. I mean, last time you were with me, it was, oh, I think it was in September. So mm -hmm. it seems like a long time ago, six months ago. What's happened in the last six months? Well, amazing growth in audiobooks. Um, bottom line is that sales of audiobooks have grew 20% in 2014, 22% in 2015, and 38% growth in 2016. Audiobooks are exploding, uh, not just in the U.S., but worldwide. Um, it's the fastest growing publishing format. More and more people are headed to audiobooks because of the listening revolution, which is that people are plugged in all the time. You can listen to audiobooks on your phone now very easily. Um, all the new cars have the Audible and iTunes apps built in so you can listen to audiobooks. Amazon's new Echo devices, you can actually listen to audiobooks on them. Uh, so everything is pointed in the direction more and more of people being able to listen to audiobooks as they multitask. Oh, yes, the infamous multitasking that we, yeah, as, we especially Americans. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm guilty of that. And that I, I think what's important, Richard, to also say here, even if you're not as an author, a listener, user of audiobooks, your readers may be, your audience may be, and that you may be missing a huge audience out there. So it's it's an option that, with the kind of growth that you're talking about, um, is, I think, a huge boo-boo for authors to be missing out on, especially today. And authors just don't realize you know, the opportunity they're missing. And don't take my word on it. Neil Gaiman, uh, you know, the famous uh, author, and also he voices his own books, but he says the rights to an audiobook often remain unrealized and the book is never recorded. There's huge potential sitting there for the potential for creative work, the potential for new income, the potential for good listening, all of those things. And that is why a lot of new authors, mostly those with fans and followers, are starting to put their books out on audio first. 
Stephen King was one of the first to do that. Uh, more and more authors are saying, let me hit my most loyal fans, my audiobook fans, first, and then I will follow with the ebook and the paperback versions. Um, so it's moving in, in that direction. The popularity of audiobooks is, is growing so fast. And also the phenomenon of people who pick up the ebook version, the Kindle version, and the audiobook version too. Amazon has a WhisperSync feature where you can be listening to the audiobook or reading the ebook and go back and forth and pick up at the same place. People will be listening. Uh, reading on their device, and then it's time to go, you know, commute, and they'll switch to, you know, the audiobook version. Um, so all of the technology is pointing in the direction more and more of bringing your words to life when you're an author, giving them a voice. And that's what's really key is that it's a, it's a different art form for already existing material. You've already written the lyrics. Add the music add a voice mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. the work you've already done. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, that, but let's, let's not leave whisper sync um, because a lot of them, whenever I mentioned, I was down in Mexico actually speaking last week and I brought up audiobooks and that to, to the crowd. Um, and that uh, I would, I would say I had 45 authors, writers I was working with. And maybe five of them had even thought about audiobooks, Richard. Five of that group. I know. They they had not none of them have heard of the WhisperSync program that Amazon that ties in that Amazon and Audible and all those have. Um, and that and and for all our listeners, how it works is when Richard says that you have to get up and go so you know you're done on your e reader and you close it up. When you turn on the audio and there's a hook, there, there's they're, they're synced together. That when you turn it on, it starts where you left off, which is extraordinarily cool. Yes, so the technology is amazing, you know, that uh, yeah. what they've come up with. Yeah. So what variants, because what authors, this is where I've run into snafus with authors because they get so enthusiastic and they want to do this first or that first. And then they go back and make the infamous changes, new edits, mm -hmm. new rewrites, new tweaking. And all of a sudden that if you look from a print to an E and a listen, it's not harmonized, so to speak. So what do they need to do to make sure that, that, that it, they can sync if you're, you're in that program? Yeah, the best tip is to make sure you have your final manuscript um, before you give it to the narrator to narrate. Um, make sure it's gone through all the edits. Um, as much as possible, this should be the final, final version of your book. And as long as you have it even up for pre-sale, you can also put the audio book, start putting the audio book up on Audible and iTunes. So it has to be on pre-sale on Amazon first. Um, but WhisperSync has, you can come within 5% of the total material and still be synced. Um, so you don't have to necessarily you know, put the credits in there and the chapter names and acknowledgments and things like that that might be in your book that might not necessarily go into the audio book. So it doesn't have to be exact word for word to, to qualify for whisper sync, but it has to be pretty darn close. So you're saying now it's 5% because it used to be a little bit lower. Yeah, it, uh, uh, they, they've wind it a little bit. Yeah, it used to be 98%. Um, so now it's within 95% will still qualify for, for whisper sync. And that gives you a lot of flexibility, um, you know, to, to leave out um, charts and graphs and things that might necessarily uh, belong in an audio book, uh, which is a quick aside. If you do have charts, graphs that need to be there or pictures for a children's book, mm -hmm. you can put them in a PDF and everybody who downloads your audio book will also have access to download the PDF with the extra material. Uh, so if you have a book that has that, it doesn't necessarily disqualify it from being an audio book. 
which is huge. I mean, that's it. Just I can't express how huge this is for everyone. And Rich and I, in a disclaimer, I work. I've had the pleasure of working with Richard um, for a couple of my books, my crowdfunding book we did, and the 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 author's guide to uh, uh, the crowdfunding and the um, um, how to avoid Blooper. 101. Yeah, 101 <laughs> book publishing bloopers, blunders, and boobas. And Richard, I have to tell you, I've come up with my next book. Oh yeah, and I did. I have. I have. I'm working. I'm playing with the title now, but it's going to be on publishing predators. I cannot stand oh. it any longer. I have a huge blog coming out um, yes. th- this next week on this. Yeah, critically important topic, and also there are publishing predators in audiobooks also. Ooh, ooh! So we should have a section uh, on that. And I can quote yeah. you in it and give you, yeah, give yeah. you the credit for that. And and they're out because there. So. Yeah, I mean they they will charge you five hundred dollars per finished hour, and that turns out to be you know for a ten hour audio book five thousand dollars, when you could get that audio book produced for ha- half that or even much less than that, um, if you go uh, the same way that you know you teach authors to go uh, how to publish independently if you publish your audiobook independently instead of going to these publishing houses that just say oh yeah we do audiobooks and they farm everything out and charge you know uh, exorbitant fees for it uh, so there are some audiobook predators to watch out for too well you know that's an omg that, that's almost a wowza and a yowza <laughs> to be aware yeah. of that there are people who are looking out there in every which way. And and here's here's the, the, the author beware here that Richard is saying, I'm going to reinforce, that any time that you have a fast-growing segment, um, an audio book within the um, book creation land is the huge one right now, it does attract the predators. And you need to understand that they're more interested in your credit card than they are in you and your book. It's very important to understand that. We're going to be right back. It's Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing. We are talking audiobooks, and with me is my guest, Richard Riemann. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Is there a book in you? Or another, Author You will show you how to create, develop, and publish your book without being hoodwinked. If you already have a book out, You'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author U brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author U's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publish. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content-heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has possessed punch and panache author you is for you if you're a hobbyist or a casual author it's not join author you today through its website at author follow author you on twitter at author you and on facebook at author you where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily author you where the author goes to become seriously successful Impressions are everything in the world of book publishing. Whether your book is an ebook, a print version, or both, your book cover needs to pop, sizzle, and sparkle to immediately capture the attention of your audience. And your book's interior needs to be just as dynamic and reflect the professionalism your readers demand. Nick Selinger of NZ Graphics has won numerous national and international book awards for his cover designs and interior layouts. With over 20 years of experience in graphic design, he knows what it takes to create award-winning books and the many promotional pieces that authors need, such as posters, banners, postcards, one-sheets, 
business cards, logos, and more. Visit ncgraphics.com and see what authors and publishers have to say about their award-winning books and how NZ Graphics can make your book the success it was meant to be. That's nzgraphics.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryle. How would you like to spend three days with me in beautiful Denver in June? You can. Judith Bryle's book publishing, Unplugged, is slated for June 22nd through 24th. We spend an entire day with authors, gizmos and gadgets, and all the social media tools and tips you need. And then we do deep diving into a variety of other areas, all designed to make you a star and successful. If you're interested, just go to my website, thebookshepherd.com. Click on events and then go right into the Judith Browse Book Publishing Unplugged. All the details are there. We would love to see you June 22nd to the 24th. All right. We are talking audiobooks. So much is happening. If you don't really consciously say, I'm there, I'm going to plan one, you're making a mistake. So with me is what I think is the t- one of the top experts, one of my favorite people, Richard Riemann, and, and he is the author of an excellent book I, I recommend that you all get. And I want you to really listen carefully because we're going to get into the whys. Why should you be doing this? What are the methodologies of doing it? And what are the costs? So Richard, let's just kind of open it up. Where do you want to start with? Yeah, it's um, a lot of people have the misconception that they will need to spend thousands of dollars to produce the audiobook version of their book. And it's just not true anymore. Amazon created the audiobook creation exchange, uh, ACX.com, so that they would get more audiobooks for Audible, which they also own. And because of that, it has opened up opportunities for narrators to work from home and have their own home recording studios. Um, so it's less expensive to produce an audiobook. You don't have to go into a big recording studio. You don't have to pay a separate audio editor because your narrator slash producer takes care of all of that for you. And there are narrators on ACX who will do the audiobook version of your book with no money up front simply by sharing royalties. It's called royalty share, where they will bet that your book is going to sell and they will share the percentage that you get of the sale of each book 50-50 with you. So it makes it a a no-risk proposition going in. Um, What I do as an audiobook consultant is I help authors find the right narrator, walk them through, you know, there are like 16 steps to register on ACX, and all the things like do you go exclusively or non-exclusive, make all those decisions, and you know how to find the right narrator who doesn't sound like they're recording in a in a bathroom. Uh, uh, <laughs> or, or the, find the a narr- <laughs> find a narrator who does all you know the erotica stuff uh, on the on the side, and also wants to do your book, and maybe you want that person. But, uh, but maybe you don't. Um, so that's the type of thing that I help authors with, as well as promote their audiobook at the other end. Um, so royalty share is the least expensive way to go in. The second way is to pay for production, pay a little up front. Um, the costs, you know, they talk in per finished hour is the language of audiobooks, how long it runs. Well, I break it down easier for authors um, to think of it in terms of how many words. Um, If you're paying $10 per thousand words, that's roughly $100 per finished hour. So a five-hour book would be about $500. Um, That's the cost that you look at. 
uh, paying for production. Sometimes you would also want to share your royalties with the narrator because the more you can offer the narrator, the more experienced narrator you will get for your audio book. Um, but if you pay even $20 per thousand words, um, you suddenly can get a really experienced narrator, keep all your royalties, and get it really professionally produced and sounding great. And your audiobook will also show up on your Amazon page, on Audible, and on iTunes. Uh, sorry, my voice is a little scratchy. I've been recording uh, a book, uh, and so it's, uh, I, I've been doing hours and hours of recording this week. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, <laughs> this is my everyone. So, this is my friend, my friend who has been at everything from an alien to a pirate. So uh, uh, yeah, you know, they right. they they do have the variation. And and Richard, let me give you a shout out. You brought in a narrator for a book. Um, I've done, I've done my own narrating. Now, I know a lot of authors, you know, you train them how to do their own narrating, but sometimes they don't have the right voice. And I think what's good about Richard is that he lets them know if it's the, if they're the wrong fit, uh, you know, push your ego aside <laughs> because sometimes yeah. it may not resonate right or come across strongly enough. Uh, to go along with your your topic, it's, it's it's really important to understand. Remember, you have got a product here, and you want it, to set it up the best way forward. And and I had a book, um, and Richard mentioned erotica. It was uh, well, we call it the naughty book, but it was an erotica book, and that we wanted to do it. The author wasn't didn't want to be the narrator for it. She wasn't the right narrator. Certainly, she was the author, for sure, um, of it, and it was a memoir. And uh, Richard really put together a group. We needed a female voice. He put together, um, uh, through his experience, he had contacts, and we did some samples, and we went forward with, and and he, I think he picked just a recommended absolutely the right person. When they sent me a sample so I could listen to it, too, I was not in my offices. I actually was um, at, at a writer's retreat at a friend's in Arizona, and I thought I was all alone out by the pool um, in its community listening. You know, So I turned it on, and I brought it in my iPhone. I couldn't lower it for some reason, and I, I wasn't alone. I didn't realize that, and all of a sudden I saw movement in the pool coming towards me. And these two very older residents stopped, plopped right in front of where I was lounging, listening, and did not move until the entire chapter was done. They both smiled at each other and then swam away. It was a hoot. It was a hoot. And we knew we had the right fit. <laughs> yes. You know, and the book I'm recording now is actually a naughty book, too. Um, the And not because it's erotica. It's a memoir called Barn Again by Alan Good, a Denver author. And, but he says the F word so many times in this book. I, I say it more in the first chapter than I've said it in my life. Um, wow, so, <laughs> but, but it's a rant against literary agents. That's <laughs> part of it. Uh, where, oh, you know, oh I can join agents. that. I can join that, but I, I don't need to use the F word to do that. <laughs> So, you know, audiobooks are so much fun because of the variety. And we were talking about, you know, okay, finding a narrator. Well, maybe you do want to narrate it yourself. And there is that opportunity. Um, I recommend that people don't record their own books at home. You to do it on your iPhone. It'll sound, you know, the technical quality will be awful. Uh, it might sound good to you, but it's not going to sound good in the headphones of a listener for five hours. Um, so you do want to get a professional recording studio. Uh, I work with two of them in Denver, and and uh, you can record there and have it edit, edited there. It will cost a, a, a little bit more to do that, but sometimes you want to do your own audio book. This is your legacy. These are your words. No one knows them better than you do. And, you know, I worked with you, Judith, obviously, to bring you into a studio and, and get it recorded and professionally done. And it's, uh, we make it, you know, pretty painless uh, for the authors who want mm -hmm. to record uh, their own books. Mm -hmm. um, but, I, but I also have to say, Richard, that I know that you've worked with some of my clients 
in in out of state. It's all been done out of state, and they've been extraordinarily happy with how you have set it up to do so there would be a quality transaction in, in, yes, the, we, in all we of it. Yes, we can actually recommend equipment uh, that they can record on. That's uh, the upgrade from the iPhone. And um, because we can tweak it um, uh, at our end, the audio quality, uh, we can make it sound uh, pretty good. But it's, it's also an investment of equipment. You know, we're talking three to five hundred dollars of, of getting the right equipment to record uh, from home. So it can be done. Um, you know, if that is, you know, if you're way out in the Arizona desert and there are no studios nearby uh, and you're not going to fly into Denver to record, uh, there are also options uh, to, to get your audiobook uh, produced from home. And there you go. So you can do it at home. Um, or you can go in a studio, and I, I mean, I'm telling you, if you've got a studio available, that's where you should go. Um, I, I just because you know what, you're you're away from your home. You're not going to have someone coming in. You're not going to have all of a sudden a god awful noise come in because I will tell you about noise because I was guilty, and I'm one of these people that <laughs> I don't eat in the morning. I, you know, I I guzzle hot tea. And maybe I'll have a little bit at lunch. I, I mean, I just don't eat solid food. The microphones are so sensitive that there, if there's a little gurgle, by God, it explodes. So um, there, are, there are tips yes, there. Yes, I, <laughs> right. I remember. I remember we had to go back in and, and, and take out the stomach gurgle noise. Yes. I know it. I mean, it was, and, and in fact, you know, that all of a sudden, if your stomach starts Googling, I'm telling you, it's going to, it's going to be in play. Um, for a while and you may have to just stop the session and that's really what we had to do we had to come back the next day and I ate an hour before I came with it all right we're gonna we're gonna take a, a quick break and and we'll come back with lots more on who and what you should be doing in creating an audiobook we are doing a very special session um this uh coming up here on April Fool's, so it won't be April Fool's Day. It will be a delight, and we'll give you more information when we come back. is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Want to publish like a pro today? Well, then take a look at Ingram Spark, the only publishing platform that offers print and ebook services through a single source. Upload, edit, and manage titles all in one place. Take more control of printing costs with print on demand and reach even more readers through one of the world's most extensive distribution networks. Built by independent publishers for independent publishers, Ingram Spark has everything you need to maximize your book's potential. Color printing, ebook distribution, print on demand, global reach, and more. Start publishing with Ingram Spark today and see just how far your titles will go tomorrow. That's IngramSpark.com. Many of us have dreamed of writing a book. Some of us even have. Then the hard work starts. You'll need an editor. Who will design the cover or typeset the pages? Who will format the ebook? If you're a business owner, consultant, or coach with a serious message and expertise to share, the team of experts at 1106 Design can guide you through the maze. They've helped more than a thousand authors create top quality books and avoid the not so reputable self publishing companies. Learn more at 1106design.com. Then call Michelle at 602 866 3226 1106Design. When Ned Thompson and Harry Shore started Thompson Shore in 1972, they believed employees with great character would make up the best company. They were right. 
They hired people who were not only experts in bookmaking, but who were obsessed with quality and delivering exceptional customer service. Almost 40 years later, Thompson Shore remains a 100% employee-owned company. Ned and Harry knew that successful customer projects are a direct result of empowered employees. We specialize in all books for large and small publishers. Creating beautiful and well-made books, we're dedicated to pleasing our customers by making the experience a good one from start to finish. The personal touch we have with our customers allows us to be innovative in solving their most difficult challenges. Our platform also ensures that we can remain flexible to meet our customers' unique needs and expectations. Our marketing kit can create buzz for your title, enhancing the promotion of your book during infancy. When you need to test the market to gauge your future sales, we can provide digitally printed books that will transition seamlessly into a larger offset run. From ebook to hard copy to delivery, our skillful customer service teams are at the ready to answer your most pressing questions. At Thompson Shore, we know that making the highest quality books requires more than just best technologies. It requires superior customer service, professionalism to the trade, and commitment to environmental and social values. With these standards of excellence in place, you can be sure that we will always help you put your best book forward. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, I hinted at an event that was happening in uh, that Author U is sponsoring. And and Richard and I are both up to our eyeballs and author you. But, you know, it's, and, and really it's going to be the secrets of audiobooks uh, on how to create them, how to form them. And we are doing this on April 1st. And it's going to be in a studio to get the information if you go to authoru.org um, and just click on events. And it'll it'll pop up right away. And then we also have an added feature um, that uh, next week I'll have uh, Kathy um, uh, Mies on where we will be talking about Bublish because we're going to have live demonstrations with uh, for Bublish on how to use that for your marketing. So here, we're, we're Richard, we're going to get into some of the techniques and strategies you can use for marketing your book, your audio book, and how that can really soar your super, you can, be, you can develop super fans out of this and, and go into that area. But what Richard has created, because we're going to be in a studio, that the first 20 people who are registered are actually going to have the ability, we've got kind of like 15, 12 to 15 minute slots, that you're going to be able to create an, a, a professionally created, produced audio clip and have that. So Richard, do you want to talk about that a bit? Yes, we're going to Post Modern Company Studios. It's in the Rhino Arts District of uh, Denver, just uh, east of downtown. And the, we'll have two studios operating uh, during the time we're there. And authors can come in with uh, a prepared script. It can be an excerpt from their book. Uh, it can be them talking about their book or themselves. And we will professionally edit it and give them a copy of that audio you know, two minutes, three minutes, shorter is better, um, to use for book trailers, to put up on social media, um, and you'll get a really high-quality recording. Um, it's, a, it's an easy way to get, uh, you know, a great recording that you can use, and, and you can create a slideshow uh, about your book. Uh, you can use that as a track for creating a video. So it's a, it's a great opportunity. It's a fabulous opportunity, and and that there is. I mean, as soon as you said slideshow, another nifty product dropped into my 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 ever uh, working head here. That um, you could create a a YouTube video with that audio clip, and if you you could create a whether you use Canva or something like that, you could incorporate it using another tool called Jing J I N G. And you could talk. You could just talk directly into your computer. You could have a slide up talking about it. And you could say something like, listen in. And you give it this little snippet. 
that you've created. And then you could give, you know, maybe make another slide with some critical reinforcement tips that you verbally said that your viewer listener listened to. And you could you could do that. I mean, there's all kinds of goodies, Richard, that you could do here to keep doing yeah. this cross promotion. And then you slap it on your website and you push it out into your social media feed. You put it on YouTube. It's, you know, it that's kind of like uh, a mecca to play with. Yeah. And another uh, another great tool is animoto.com, A N I M O T O. Yep. I animoto love animoto. Yep. And you can animoto. use the track, you know, the audio uh, track. They call mm -hmm. it a song, but basically you put your audio in and create the, you know, and have the slides you created in Canva or somewhere else or mm -hmm. you know, using the other tools mm -hmm. and, you know, create a professional looking promotional video. It uh, it, it really does does it well. It's stunning. Really, it, it is truly stunning now. for a few bucks what you can do now. Yes. And the opportunities to promote audiobooks are growing rapidly. Um, the important thing is, you know, we talked about costs. Um, the audiobooks sell for more. They sell for as much as your oh, yeah. paperback version, yeah. not just your ebook version. You know, if you have a three to five hour audiobook, it's ten to twenty dollars as the price that it will sell for a five to ten hour audiobook, which is what most fiction books are, fifteen to twenty five dollars. So your royalty share is based on that higher sales amount. Even if people use their audible credits to buy audiobooks, you your royalties are based on that full retail price. Um, so Bottom line is, I polled my authors um, that I worked with last year, and I did about 50 audiobooks, either narrating or producing them, about one a week uh, last year. And most of them made more money from their audiobooks than they did from their ebooks. Because even though they sold many more ebooks, the price of the ebook is so low, and there are so many giveaway things that they have that the audiobooks made more money for them than um, the uh, than the ebooks. I have one author who makes about $100 a month just by doing nothing. You know, she produced her audiobook now, you know, a year and a half ago, and she's still getting, you know, $100 passive income every month doing absolutely nothing. It's still rolling in uh, because of audiobook sales. Mm -hmm. And and here's what's cool on your Amazon page, it will show your print book, your ebook, and your audio book. So people say, oh, so here's my menu. I can choose chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry, whatever they want. So mm -hmm. um, that's the and, way you really want to think. And if I can give you a promotional secret quickly, it's we talked about um, <clears throat> Audible gives you 25 free gift codes that you can use, and the way I use them, a little trick, I buy the audiobook, I buy our author's audiobooks, and then gift them to reviewers. So the author makes uh, a royalty payment for each sale, each gift I'm giving away. And if you run out of the 25, you can ask Audible and get 10 to 25 more. You can sell 50 copies of an audiobook right out of the gate, uh, by using the gift codes they give you and giving them away to people who review them. Audiobook Boom is a place where you can find reviewers. Audiobookreviewer.com. There are a lot of sites that specifically review audiobooks in different genres. There's one called indetail.com that focuses on romance, uh, if that's your genre. And they will promote your audiobooks. In some cases, they will charge, just like you know, advertising, trying to market your your book. But the costs are ten dollars, twenty five dollars, that type of thing, to get a review up on uh, an audiobook site uh, to be able to sell more audiobooks. And those opportunities are increasing uh, more and more. They're popping up all over the place because of the popularity of audiobooks. It's it's huge. So if you're not doing this, dear listener, please put it on your to-do list 
and you know c- connect with Richard. Richard, give him your email so you can direct them. Either you work with them, or you can direct them into someone in their area that might be a better fit. After you talk to them, how do they get a hold of you? Right. My uh, my email is the simplest email is Richard at rrvoice.com. That's Richard at rrvoice, B-O-I-C-E, dot com. My website is actually, uh, my business website is audiobookrevolution.com, and you can also reach me through that. Uh, the services I offer are narrating audiobooks, finding a narrator for authors uh, to create their audiobooks uh, as a consultant, um, and also uh, to you know, help them produce their own audiobook, either in the studio or at home. There you go. All right, so... Take advantage of this because this is great. If you are in Colorado and you're going to be here April 1st, come to the meeting that we're doing. And it's 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 in downtown Denver. Um, it's in a, a live studio. Um, there's plenty of coffee. We have Richard will be doing a how to program during the during the first session in the morning. Um, Kathy Meese will be doing it about publishing, which I think you all should be knowing know, know about um, in the the second part of the morning. So it's from you know it's like eight fifteen to noon. It's a great way to start off Saturday, and you will just be loaded with um, ammunition to move your marketing forward and 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 get it on track if you feel like you're off or you're not sure what to do i think these are really important elements um and especially with publish it's ideal for pre-marketing ideal for pre-marketing a book if you're just getting ready to go all right and so. a tip a tip from authors that i know is that uh from narrators that i know mm-hmm. if books are promoted on publish they sell a lot more audiobooks too it is the most effective way to market an audiobook is actually by including it in what you do through publish well there you go so and um and you know there's just it, it, it's it's all these little tools that keep popping up and using um it, it makes it makes a difference in your authoring life all i can say richard is you know i started publishing 30 years ago the, social media didn't exist uh, the the internet wasn't there. It, it just is huge what you can do for nominal amounts of money. We're going to be right back with our final segment and tips for you in creating the audiobook of your dream. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. The book shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems. You want solutions. Dr. Judith Bryles will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Bryles is the book shepherd. If you want to create a book with no regrets, give her a call today, 303-885-2207. That's 303-885-2207 or email her at judith at bryles.com. By the way, Bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. Follow Judith on Twitter at My Book Shepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd.
One of the most important decisions you will ever make is your choice for printing your book. You are choosing a company which will be responsible for guiding you through the process and printing your book at a level of quality and detail that embraces your personal and creative needs. You want to choose a company that when your book finally arrives, you are delighted and ready to move on to the next level and one that is customer focused. Choose King Printing Company and Addy Books to be that company that brings you to the next level. Go to kingprinting.com or call 978-458-2345 and ask for Tom Campbell. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short-run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from 1 to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four-color high-speed inkjet printing, a cost-effective way to introduce color into your short-run titles. We, of course, offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in-house, from adhesive case binding to PUR perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types, including side sewing. We provide warehousing, kitting, distribution, inventory management, a new print-on-demand facility, streaming browser-based ebooks, and bookstore. Call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project. You can also visit our website at www.tps1.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, so here we are. We're talking audiobooks. We really want you to really get on get, get on the audiobook train because I think it's a big mistake for authors to be missing out on this at this point because there's just so much that you can do. There's so much success that you can have from that in bringing that together, and that's really what you want to do um, to be successful as an author. Audiobooks are just part of the mix. It's the fastest growing segment in the publishing arena, and it has been on that uh, track for the last three years and growing on. So if you're just waking up to it, welcome. If you poo-pooed it, all right, you get a chance to come back. And Richard Riemann is an expert in how to create audiobooks as a narrator himself, but also as a audiobook consultant. We're going to be doing a special program on April 1st in Denver, Colorado. So if you're in Colorado, come, come to it. You you can't afford not to miss it for what this will bring to you. And there's still a, just a couple of spots left. The first 20 people who sign up um, can get a actual clip done in the studio, professionally produced, and walk away with it. So you go to author you, that's the letter U, author you.org, click on events and just register. That's for Saturday, April 1st. So Richard, some of the things that I wanted to talk about, because that um, I think people learn from mistakes. Um, and so what, what are the, the most common mistakes that they go through, whether it's negotiating, whether it's producing it, um, whether it's, it's, and, and they're common and maybe there's some oddball ones you might like to share and, and how do you get out of it if you've done it? Yeah. The, the most common mistake is giving away your audiobook rights when you sign a contract with a publisher, um, you know, who may never produce the audiobook version. So you really have to watch out that you retain your audiobook rights. And if you have accidentally given them away to a publisher who um, doesn't uh, uh, do audiobooks, and as you well know, Judith, uh, you know, a lot of these publishers, um, unfortunately, you know, you're having authors all the time signing up with these publishers without understanding what they're giving away. 
you know, keep your audiobook rights and ask for an audiobook reversion to you if the audiobook is not produced within, say, a year you retain your audiobook rights. If you're self-publishing, independently publishing, you have your audiobook rights. You are covered. But if you're going through one of those publishers, you know, please uh, make sure you control the audiobook rights so you can make money through the audiobook version. That's number one. Uh, number two, if you're going to go um, into the studio yourself to narrate a book or you're going to record it at home, there are several things you, you need to keep in mind. You need to be very, very <laughs> careful about being hydrated. Drink lots and lots of water. Uh, coffee and some teas can add clicks to your, to your mouth, mo mouth noise as we call it. Uh, so you'll want to avoid that. You want to eat two hours before any recording time. Avoid peanut butter, things like that. A crazy trick, a little secret for, for narrators, Potato chips are actually very good to eat because salt and oil in the potato chips oils your throat and your ah. mouth and eliminates a lot of the, the clicks. So actually, it's the one time in your life potato chips are a good thing to eat. Uh, <laughs> and there's also a, a, a kind of tea called throat coat, uh, spelled uh, uh, K-O-T-E, throat coat tea. Uh, that is very good for soothing a voice and sipping while you're recording. Uh, tea with a little bit of honey before you record is also uh, very good. Um, so those are tips that I, I tell people if they're going to narrate it themselves. Finding a narrator, don't pay as much attention to a beautiful voice. You can get seduced by that beautiful voice. Um, you know, it, it's great to have a nice voice, but it's really the acting you're looking for. You're looking for an actor who can distinguish characters by using vocal tones. As you said, Judith, I've, I've had to be a pirate. I've had to be a cowboy. You know, I've, I've had to be German. I've had to be Russian. You know, you're looking for somebody who can do voices and bring your characters to life. And that's not just simply having a good voice. It's changing emotions. It's telling a story. You are looking for a storyteller, not someone who reads out loud with a good voice very well. Um, so it's actually the storytellers you are looking for. Um, so those are, you know, the important tips uh, for finding the right person to do your audiobook. Well, and, and that one of the things that uh, is important, if especially if you're the, a, a professional narrator, is certainly doesn't have to be told you have to pause, you have to do this. But if you're doing this yourself, you need to understand the value of a pause and also the value of, of the, the tone, the understanding of tones and changing that pacing. You're just not motor mouthing. And I, I think that's a, a common problem. They're a little nervous, um, yes. and they motor mouth it, and they they rush through it. And you're going to get into deep doo doo here for your listener. Yeah, so you've be got careful. To understand that people are multitasking with audiobooks. They're driving, mm -hmm. they're walking, yep. they're doing other things while they're listening to the audiobook. So that's why in even you know the top audiobooks that you hear narrators doing. The pacing seems a little slow sometimes, a little slower than normal conversation. Mm -hmm. And that's because, you know, it's a performance. And even with a, a nonfiction book, um, it, it, you know, it is a, they're telling you a story. You're, you're looking for someone who is speaking to you one person at a time, not to everybody out there who might be listening to the audio book. So you're looking for that person who can connect uh, to you and can bring those characters to life if you have a, a fiction book. That's what makes a great narrator. And, and that's exactly what you want. So whether you're the narrator <laughs> or you mm -hmm. hire someone to do it, that you're, um, and, and you do want to get a sample. Would you, would Richard, before we leave, we have a couple of minutes here. Would you talk a little bit about how um, to listen to maybe some samples and, and how much to expect in a sample? I mean, they're not going to read your whole book. 
Um, but w what to expect when you're expecting? Yeah, I mean, what what you should put in a sample um, for auditions is you want to make sure if you uh, are creating a sample for the narrators that you include a section that has your main characters in it uh, so you can hear how they perform the most important characters in your book. Um, that's important. Uh, if there's an emotional part of the book, an emotional tone that you have, take an excerpt that reflects that. If it's a, you know, a, a war book and it has these exciting passages of adventure, um, pick something that's, that reflects that. Um, with a nonfiction book, don't just, don't, just, don't just take the first paragraphs. Go to a key part of the book and see how that is being read out loud. And that's mm -hmm. what you should really use also for your retail sample. Um, we, we call it that. That's what Audible calls it. That's the sample that goes on your Amazon page up to five minutes long. It'll be underneath your book cover. And click to listen is the little link there. And they will hear up to five minutes of your book. So you want that sample to really reflect the best of the book and bring people in, you know, to, to say, ah, that sounds really good. I want that book. Exactly. So it's, it's, so it's, it's a form of inside the book is inside the voice. <laughs> it's, it's what you, it, it is what yeah. you have. So you want to make sure that that's all posted and that's there. There are, you know, we all make mistakes, so and they're all correctable. And when with the beauty of the audio book, and I, and I think the the pleasure I had in working with Richard on my books, he would go back and he'd say, go back to page da da da, reread this, until we had it right. And we had to we had to do that several times. So, you know, don't let your ego get in the way. It's not going to be perfect the first time out. You'd love to have it just kind of flow it through. It's not going to happen. So be prepared yeah. for some takes, retakes. <laughs> All right. So some final final tips. I know we're short on time, but just to yeah, run you through. Yeah, one more minute. Yeah. Treat, treat, treat your audiobook launch as a new baby, completely mm -hmm. new way to reach your audience. Uh, you can bring an old book back to life, something that might be mostly dead, but is still slightly alive, as they said in Princess Bride. Uh, bring your, your back catalog to life as an audiobook, which also you know brings your book back to life. It's another way to promote an older book and find new listeners you know for a new audience, new fans for your book. All right, you know, and that's where we're going to have to close. Yeah, we're going to have yeah, to close now. Yeah. So, Richard, thank you okay. so much. Get his book, um, The Office Guide to, the audiobook, Guide creation. to audiobook Creation. Yep. Right. All right, and, and, and be here on April 1st. We'll see you. It's all for you, your guide to book publishing, and I'm Judith Riles. Thank you for being a part of your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Riles. Each week.